Let's imagine you've applied to a university, you met all the study requirements, you contact the German embassy in your country, but when it comes to getting the student visa, there are two things that you should keep in mind. What to expect in the admission process during this COVID-19 pandemic period. My focus is on those who are applying to study in Germany. So, hi guys. What happens when you get admission into a university? How do you proceed? Usually, when you meet all the study requirements for a particular university, you're given admission. And ordinarily, it's expected that you apply for a student visa and then come study in Germany. But there are some cases for, for several reasons. There may be a delay in issuing the visa or they might not even be issuing the visa at all. There are actually two things here. So on one side, what happens from the side of the university, on the other side, from the German embassy in your country. So this evening, I would like to start first by talking about the possibilities from the university that you apply to. Let's imagine you've applied to a university, you met all the study requirements, you contact the German embassy in your country. But when it comes to getting the student visa, there are two things that you should keep in mind amongst other things. So the first thing is how will the university proceed if you are not able to get the visa from your home country there are two possibilities the first one is you contact the university and tell them this is a challenge you're having you can't secure an appointment for your student visa or that you're not getting any response from them or something so from the university side one of two things could happen the first category would be that they tell you okay we are aware of the situation we will contact the embassy and see what will happen they can also tell you that if you're not able to get a student visa we can defy your admission to the next semester other schools may tell you that that's not not your problem if you don't if you're not able to get a visa they cannot retain the admission for you so either you you lose the admission there are certain schools that you lose the admission the other schools that they will keep the admission for you there are schools that will tell you that okay we are aware of the situation we want you to reapply the next year and then the other ones will tell you that there's no need for you to reapply they will defy the admission to the next semester or the next year in that case they will issue you a letter to the german embassy and tell them that we are aware of this student when you grant him the admission he can always come me in my case the enrollment was supposed to be in september but i couldn't secure the visa in time so i finally resumed in november and I was still enrolled so there are certain schools when you show up the day you show up in the university that's the day of your enrollment the other schools they have a fixed day they tell you it's September 30 whatever tell you it's October 1st if you don't show up that day then that's it so that's how it works and the reason I'm saying this is because depending on the number of people that are applying from your home country, it could be that the embassy in your country, the German embassy in your country is receiving a lot of applications and they cannot secure student visa interview for all the candidates. And when that happens, that means that the candidates that contact the embassy late, their chances of getting a spot for interview would be really, really slim. The reason I'm telling you this is that you can prepare yourself well in advance. I'm going to recap the session. So this evening I talked about the need for you to check with the schools that you are applying to what are the admission conditions if you get admission is it possible for the school to defy admission to the next year if they defy the admission will it be that you have to reapply or you don't have to reapply if you have to reapply is your admission already secured and the reason is because for a period like this we are in many countries or currently like germany is not allowing travelers from third world countries due to the coronavirus situation what will you do so Thank you guys once more for your time and I'm going to see you about same time next week.